You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, General Hospital fans. This is Soap Dirt on YouTube, and we've got your General Hospital early edition spoilers for the week of June 19th through June 23rd. We've got four sizzling hot spoilers, and we want to share those with you along with the context of how they relate to the larger official spoilers and storylines. We are so excited about the stuff happening right now. There are some big storylines moving forward at a very fast pace. There is a recurring character that everybody loves, and he is finally back next week, so I'm super excited about that. We're going to talk to you about all these, but first, if you haven't already, please reach down and click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our General Hospital spoilers, casting news, all the stuff you need to know about your favorite ABC soap opera. All right, so the fan favorite who is on recurring, who is back, is Damien Spinelli. How excited are you to see Bradford Anderson back? I just love Bradford Anderson. I would love for Spinelli to stick around. You know, Maxi is single, and I would love to see me a little spixy action and see them getting back together. But he's not back in town for romance. Nope, Spinelli has a new mission. And because of the spoilers around this, to me, it's one of two plots that I think he's tied into. Because I believe Spinelli spends time talking to Sam, you know, and he adores her. And Drew has just going to be spending some time talking to Sam a couple of days before this week kicks off. So I'm wondering if Spinelli is in town to ferret out who made the anonymous tip to the SEC. Or because Cody Bell spends time talking to Sam and he needs some help for her. I wonder if Sam has brought Spinelli in to try and figure out what Gladys is doing with Sasha's money. Cody has a very good idea that Selena Wu is setting up Gladys to fail, and then Gladys is siphoning money out of Gladys out of um, Sasha Gilmore's accounts. But Cody has no tangible proof. He, you know, has what he overheard, and then he has this theory, but he doesn't have any proof. And since Spinelli is a master hacker, maybe he can get into the bank statements so they can show Sasha that big piles of money have been pulled out. So I'm super excited to see Spinelli back, no matter what reason that he's in town for, but I suspect SEC or Gladys gambling embezzlement is the reason why. All right, another spoiler for the week of June 19th is Christina Corinthos voicing some concerns. So I feel very strongly that we are about to get a storyline where Christina volunteers to be Molly Lansing's surrogate because Molly just found out that her endometriosis is so bad that she is likely rendered infertile. And she and TJ really, really want a baby. Christina's womb is sitting there, you know, doing nothing. So she could rent it out to them, right? So I have to wonder what Christina's voice in conserver. It's a very vague spoiler. The last time we saw Christina. It was when she was at Alexis's house and she was showing Alexis and Sam her plans for the charitable organization that Sunny is funding for her. And Christina wound up really mad at Sam for Sam doing a lot of naysaying and basically saying she's not prepared and she's not adulting the right way. So Christina was pretty annoyed. What I do know is they have hired Kate Mancy, who is a high profile recast to come in and replace Lexi Ainsworth. And they didn't spend that money for nothing. We are about to be seeing a lot more of Christina and I do think she's going to end up being the surrogate, but either way, brace yourself. Lots more of Christina coming soon. All right, another early edition spoiler for next week is that Carly Corinthos is outraged, but Drew remains stubborn. Those are actually two separate spoilers, but for the same day about what's going to happen with them. And Carly is outraged. Again, she would be outraged if she found out what Nina did, but I think Nina's got a couple of more weeks flying under the radar. We will have to see. What I think that Carly is going to be outraged about is that Drew has been talking to his lawyer, Zeke, about 
turning himself over to the SEC and basically saying it was all me and trying to get the mildest punishment he can, but that way it'll keep the spotlight off of Carly. And if it keeps the spotlight spotlight off of Carly, then she won't be in a position to be pressured by the feds to flip over on Sonny. So I do believe that Drew is going to work on cutting this deal and tell Carly, hey, this is what I've decided to do. And I think that is what's going to outrage her. She is going to be furious because she did the insider trading without even consulting him. Drew had no idea what she was doing. So it seems appalling that he would pay the price for her criminal actions. And again, we're back to she did this crime 100%. There's no debating it. She is guilty. And if it's a, a offense that sends you to prison, then that has to be where she deserves to go. It doesn't matter that she thought she was doing it with good intentions. She was breaking the law. She was breaking the law to try and benefit Michael and Drew. But when you cheat cheat the system to help people, that means you're probably hurting someone else. So I tend to think she's going to be very upset if Drew tries to take the blame for her bad decisions, but it sounds like what he is planning to do. And finally, our last early edition spoiler we'll share with you in just a moment, but if you haven't already, please click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our General Hospital early edition spoilers, full weekly spoilers, promos, casting news, all the good stuff that you want to know. All right, so this next spoiler for the week of June 19th is that Nina has to think fast. She has to think on her feet. That sounds like someone is coming at her and she has got to figure something out. So what I think that that is going to be is about Detective Chase and the security footage that he is using to clear Drew Kane. Remember, because Tracy said that Drew assaulted Ned and was hurting him. And so they went and they pulled all the footage. But given that Ned came running in that room at some such a velocity, I feel like that Chance went back and he watched additional footage explaining where Ned was before and why he was such in a gosh darn hurry. And when they rewind back enough, they are going to see Nina and Ned in what looks like an obvious confrontation. And I imagine Detective Chase is going to want to know what they said. Generally, security cameras like that don't have an audio feed. And so I suspect he's going to, you know, see them bickering and it's not going to make a lot of sense to him. And he is definitely going to want to know and she is going to have to come up with a way to explain that confrontation because word is probably going to spread and this probably won't be the only time that she's asked about it. Are you excited about next week on General Hospital? How excited are you that Spinelli is coming back? We would love to hear your thoughts in the comments and we can't wait to share with you the full weekly spoilers as soon as they're released this week thank you for being a loyal listener follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode soap dirt is on all the major podcast platforms including apple podcast spotify iHeartRadio, and more